In this video, we will walk you through the simple setup process to get your Iron Key Vault Privacy 50 encrypted USB flash drive ready to use. To get started, insert the VP50 directly into your laptop or desktop. The VP50 can be used with compatible PC or Mac devices. When your OS detects the drive, select the ironkey.exe option in File Explorer for Windows. Or for Mac OS, double-click the Iron Key volume on your desktop, then double-click the Iron Key application to start the initialization process. Follow the prompts to select your language, review, and accept the license agreement. Next, you will need to create a password using either the complex or passphrase mode. Complex password must be between 6 and 16 characters and contain at least three of the following. Uppercase, lowercase, numerical digit, and special character. Passphrase password must be between 10 and 64 characters and contain any combination of numbers, letters, or special characters. Here you will have the option to enable admin and user password roles, which allow for multi-password use that the admin can change, along with the additional useful features. If you want to enable or disable this feature after your VP50 has been set up, you will need to reset the drive and follow these steps to set it up again. Choose your mode, enter your password and a hint to help if it's forgotten, select Enable Admin and User Passwords, and then click Next to set up user password. Please note that the mode chosen here will apply to both admin and user passwords, and it cannot be changed unless the VP50 is reset. Proceed to create a password for the user role and click Next. On this screen, you have the option to enter your contact information, which can include your name, company information, and a way to reach you, like a phone number or email address. This is helpful in the event your drive is lost, the information is available for the finder to return it. Click OK to complete the setup process and unlock the VP50 to securely store your data. To review any changes made in the setup process, simply unplug the drive and plug it back in. For more information on additional drive settings as well as troubleshooting tips, please visit kingston.com support.